Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You guys asked for it. I made another text poll and you guys wanted to see how to install macOS on Promux. So I found a very straightforward, simple guide that you can do it yourself with just one simple command. I'm gonna to leave this GitHub guide in the description below so you guys can do it yourselves. So basically we just need to copy this one command into our Promux shell. So let's just copy out this command, open up your Promox here, open up the shell of the Promox. Now it's just going to put this in the middle and just paste that command here, press enter. Now give that a few seconds to load. Once it finished loading, it's going to be installing everything and cloning what it needs. So just give that a few seconds. I'm just going to try to fast forward this part. Okay, guys, as you can see, I am using Promox 9. It, is, it did say on the guy it's in beta, but it does work. I already tested it out. Now, there is a pause here in the installation, guys, saying no serials number generator. Do you want to generate a unique serial number? In this part, it will say yes. It says enter system product name. We're just going to keep it how it is. So let's just press enter. Now, wait for that to load. I'm just going to fast forward again. It's still running the script. So let's just give that a few more seconds. Okay, so now it says, do you want to apply these changes to the original file? Put Y for yes and enter. Now just let this part fast forward. Okay, so now it's complete. It's going to be rebooting the Promox. So this part is going to go blank. So I'm just going to, so it's going to wait for this to reboot again. Okay, there it is, it went blank. So let me just close this out because the Promox right now should not be online. Let me see, it's just reloaded. Okay, so it's off. It should load up in a few seconds. So let's see. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, there we go. So it loaded up, perfect. Okay, wait, still not loaded up. This should load up into the green. Okay, there we go. Now we, it's loaded up. Now I'm just going to open up the shell again. Now all we need to do is just put again the command and enter. Now we should get pop up with the new command line. Okay, guys, there you can see now the new the script has now opened up entirely. This is what the script is always going to be. So now it's going to tell you what macOS you want to install. And there's also additional options if you want to change anything here to your preference. In my case, I'm going to choose macOS Sonoba, which is the fourth version 14. And that will be option seven. I'm going to select option seven. Now I'm going to press enter. Now it's going to tell you the, the BM ID that you want to choose. Since I don't have any BMs right now here, and put this in small. I don't have any there right now, so I'm just going to pick number 100. Now it's going to ask you to put the name of the Mac OS. You can leave a default like that or just put a name. In my case, I'm going to put Mac OS. Enter. Now it's going to tell you the gigabytes that you want to set it. If you leave the default, it's going to be 80. In my case, I'm going to put 100. Now it's telling you how many CPU cores you want to use. So I'm going to use three. Now that's asking you for the RAM, how much RAM you want to use. I'm just going to put 4200. Enter. Now we want to download the recovery image. Yes, we do. So Y for yes and enter again. Now this will take a little bit i'm just going to fast forward this part there it's finished so as we can see the mac os bm has been created so we can see right here the bm the virtual machine has already been created so we can actually just exit out of here we don't need this part anymore zero to width we're out of there we can just exit this out leave it now we're going to go here to the bm console and we're going to start working it right now now we should get pop up with the sonova recovery in my case so there's the Promax, there's the Sonova. Let's actually put this in full screen, console, no VM. We're here in full screen. So I actually didn't pick the option, pick it for you automatically. Now this part might take a little bit longer or it might be faster depending on your, the system requirement you put on the computer it might be slower or faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and just fast forward this part again. Okay, so there we go. We're now in the Mac OS recovery. Now, the only thing that we need to do here is actually uh, format the virtual disk that we created using this utility. So select this utility, continue. Now put this here in view, put it in show all devices. Now we need to look for the one, in my case, it was 100 gigs. So it will be this one. So that's 107, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure why, but this is the, the correct one. If you check the other ones, it's not that one, it's only 100 megabytes. Neither is that one, it's only a gig. This is the correct one. So erase. Now you can put a name for it. In my case, I'm gonna put it simple. Just delete that and put some Noma and erase. This will just take a few seconds. It shouldn't take that long. There we go. Erase process is completed. Click on to continue. Okay, perfect. Now that part is done. We can just exit out of here. Now click on reinstall Mac Sonova. Continue. Now get that a few seconds. Okay, now we're going to click continue now. And now it's going to connect to the Apple servers and you're going to be pop up with the agreement. This will take a little bit. I'm just gonna fast forward this part. 
Okay, here we are in the agreement license. We just click agree, agree it again. And now we're going to select the disk that we just created, which in my case, I named it Sonoma. So click that, continue. And now this process uh, will take approximately two hours. It could be less depending. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just fast forward this part. Okay, guys, as you can see, now it says Sonova instead of macOS installer. Now, when once you enter here, that means that macOS has fully finished installing. I was going to wait for this to load. Okay, guys, and there we have it. We're in the country. So now we're just going to select our country. In our case would be United States. And this is find it over here, United States. Select it, continue. Now we're just going to click continue again. Not now, continue again. Not now for this. Set up later, skip, agreed. Agree once more time. Now we're going to create our account. I'm just going to put in my name and a simple password. Now it says continue. This will take a few seconds to create the account. Okay, now we're just going to continue. You can enable this later if you want, but I'm not going to. Now it's just going to continue, continue again, set this up later. While you're in dark, I like dark, continue. Okay, and there we go. We're in the Mac OS. It will say this keyboard setup assistant. It doesn't detect keyboard, but that's all right. You can just click this out. You don't need to continue on this part. Just put it out. Once you, if you go here in the search bar, it will detect your keyboard. You don't need to set that up. So now you have a fully functional Mac OS running on Promos. We can see here on the Safari that it will load up to internet. So I'm just put here uh, YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. We have service and we're logging into YouTube so we can browse whatever we want, music or movies, anything. So let's just minimize this. Just close this so you can see here. We are still in the Pro box. Here you can actually see the settings of the, about this Mac. Tell you the settings. Actually, I put that in full screen so you can see it better. And there it is. It's, it's telling me it has a quad core Intel, Xeon, 4 gigs and the third of the Sonova and the Mac OS Sonova 14.8.1. And that's it, guys. This is a full install of Mac OS on Promos using this straightforward guide. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.